Hello up mags, it's Jade. Welcome to a Assassin's Creed and Immortals Phoenix Rising video today. Pretty much going over some of the leaks that have been happening due to someone finding out you can get a bunch of free content that you normally have to use your Helix for. They've been able to buy a lot of the packs and the skins for absolute free or get hold of them for free. And also a preview of what's to come. It looks like Ezio is making a return to Valhalla or certainly his clothing is. Might not be too much of a surprise. They've pretty much done that with every other Assassin's Creed game. But it has been leaked. People are accessing some of this stuff already, even though it's not even on the Ubisoft store yet. So we're going to go over that and some of your top complaints that you guys are saying the latest update 1.04 didn't fix last week and what's the biggest issues that you guys find. Part of the bugs we're also going to cover people not being able to get their upgrades for free if they own Assassin's Creed Valhalla on disc version. Not just that game but lots of other Ubisoft titles too. So if you plan on an Xbox Series X or PlayStation 5 you may be having difficulties they are aware of it at least. And I'm also going to ask, is the Helix store worth it? Is Red as Emissions worth your time? And then we're going to take a little look at Immortals Phoenix Rising, which I'm really excited for. Once I bloody get hold of some code for it, I can't wait to show you guys what I think this game's going to be one of the surprise packages of the year. So it's all here. Let's go. Make sure you're liking and you're subscribed. Emma Kent from Eurogamer has discovered a way that you can get store items for free. Now at the moment this obviously only works for PC but there's a bunch of stuff going available right now if you're willing to do a little bit of cheating. This is a bit naughty and you do risk maybe possibly compromising your account but it's something that a lot of people have done over the years and apparently they've been doing it since the last Assassin's Creed game, the Odyssey version. This was also available. In effect you're downloading a piece of cheat software and now before you cry your eyes out and go oh no I can't do it. Some of these are good, some of these are not. It's always at your own risk. I've used a few of these for games like Grounded most recently and I've got a ton of hits so I was able to show off a bunch of stuff but I won't necessarily be doing it with this one as I don't have a PC and I don't know it still feels a little bit a little bit dodgy you might be in the realms of Ubisoft one day asking for its money back or it shuts your account down as the items that you're getting are the ones that you normally have to pay Helix and obviously with Helixes you need to use your real money. But there is a handy little tutorial. I'm going to leave the article in the description or the comment section. You go and check it out and it'll have all the links you need if you want to go and check it out for yourself. I'm not going to put it out there for myself. I think you should go and give the actual original story a bit of a click. But certainly it does show off pretty much how to get a bunch of stuff and it is pretty legit. Some mad Russian hacker. To be honest, these softwares work on so many games, depending if they're using Unreal Engine or Unity, etc. And you can see he's mixing up, changing some stuff up. And then by the time he actually goes back to his game, he has given himself a bunch of items from in the game. So even if you don't want to necessarily try getting the DLC items, you can go ahead and give yourself a full brand new kit. And that looks like something like the Magister's set, I do believe. You can see here as well, he's got all the other ones and you can see an Ezio skin as well. And that's the big reveal that we've got some more pictures of too. Delving a little deeper into it and yeah, you can see some of these images. They're pretty cool, ain't gonna lie. I would love to get my hand on maybe the Ezio one and the Draugar Fiery Wolf looks pretty decent too, if maybe a little bit too fantastical. But definitely rolling around Asgard, yes, I want it. So you would assume that they would maybe try and shut this down pretty quickly, but it appears they've not, like I said, shut the one that has been running since Odyssey. So that's like two years ago. The best thing about this though is that because it's tied to your Ubisoft account, you will be able to take it with you. So if you happen to have Assassin's Creed on the Xbox and PC, you will be able to take and use all the skins that you get, either legitimate or not across both. Now obviously a big shout out to all the users that posted these images of it. This is not actually currently in the Helix store yet. I'm sure it's going to pop up on rotation very soon. So if you're not interested in cheating, but you are very much interested in some of these skins, then these will hopefully be appearing soon. And this brought me to mind to talk about Redder's Shop. In a couple of my videos, I've stressed that I'm not a big fan of Redder's Shop. I don't like the idea that you can go and buy some of these cosmetic items. Before you all jump down my throat, hear me out. Yes, it's free Helix items. It's basically the stuff that you would normally have to pay real money for, but you get a chance to earn it yourself. You can grind for it, find the opals, and there you can get some new pieces. So it sounds good in theory. The reason I don't like it is because it does encourage you to then go and visit the main shop, mainly because Ubisoft are a little bit stush still. 
basically offering you one piece of an armor set full well knowing that you're going to want the rest of it. Now yes, you could grind it out for weeks and weeks on end, but there's no actual telling sometimes what pieces are going to be coming in rotation. And so if you're looking for a brand new set of armor, the mythological set that you like the look of, if you're trying to grind it without spending any real money, well you're probably going to have to like no life the game for a considerable amount of time. Now yeah, I've heard all the money making methods of how to get opals. You get what, like one weekly challenge which gives you like 20, you get the daily ones which give you 5 each, and then you can go around the world and explore and get some too. But it isn't infinite, you do run out of opals eventually in the game. I'm at level 200 and just by completing quite a bit of abilities and skills and a lot of the missions. I would say I've just done Wessex, I've pretty much got most of the areas unlocked now and I've completed about seven or eight regions, I've still only got about 110, 115 opals. Bearing in mind one cosmetic piece is usually around 100 or 120, the idea that you're gonna sit there and grind out all of these is laughable. So yeah, I take it to you, all the guys that will comment in some of my videos, oh, opals are great, don't ignore this shop. I just don't get it. I don't understand why you'd want a no life or grind away for something, even if it is trying to get the full suit over like the next space of six weeks. Don't get me wrong, maybe you're playing the game a little bit slower and so it's not that big a deal. You're gonna play it a few hours every day and you expect it to last like two or three months. But I think a lot of the way you guys are commenting on my videos, a lot of you have gone through the game already, the majority of it. So why are you then gonna just grind for some armor that is really not that much different from any of the armor sets that are in the game also. I generally want some feedback on this. Does it really matter that much that you get some mythological armor set for free from Redder? Is it you guys sticking a big two fingers up at Ubisoft for getting this stuff for free instead of buying it? Because my thing is that I just don't like the way that Ubisoft kind of tease you with it and then make you try and go to the Helix store. Because the idea being that you want to go there and just buy the full kit. Like obviously if you've got the opals there, you might as well spend them. So if you have managed to get like 300, 400, whatever, you do you. Go and buy the weapons, great stuff. But I just feel it's a bit shoddily done that Ubisoft kind of put Redder's store right front and centre of the settlement. And of course for me, the reason people were bringing it up was because I said in my settlement guide, don't bother getting Redder's place upgraded. It's not like the priority. There's plenty of other things you can use. And I still stand by that. I still think there are better things to go and upgrade rather than the basic free tease me helix store. That's an opinion. You can have yours. That's mine. And I just don't think it's worth your time until maybe later. Certainly not until you've got enough helix credits, <coughs> uh, opals to actually buy something. Anywho, just my two cents worth. Ubisoft have been great, they sent me early copy of Watch Dogs, just about, and I got a week worth early content of Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and I'm hoping to get Mortals. They sent me some swag as well, but I'm always still going to be a bit critical, guys. I, I'm not a fully 100% shill. I would always try and give you a good balance between both sets of views. And in this instance, Redder's shop, it just feels like it's there just to get you to try and entice you to go and spend proper money in a DLC. And they put it right in the middle of the game. Like it's right there in your settlement at the first store that you almost come to. I just think it's a bit crap, really. It's almost as bad as the Call of Duty World War II loot crates. All right, all right, maybe not that bad. Anywho, Redder's shop is there for some of you guys, but not everyone. So after what I've just told you, you guys are probably going to guess that I'm not the too sad that Redder's store isn't available for some of you. Pretty much a lot of you have been commenting saying that you can't talk to Redder or something's glitched out and you can't get them to tell the story and then open up its store. But it does look like accordingly it's still a bit of a problem and issue right now. And yes, the bug that's bugging me the most is not being able to just show my actual trophies in my longhouse. I've killed every legendary creature right now and I still haven't seen anywhere where they've put them. It's proper annoying and for sure I think definitely we need to get some more stuff happening with the updates. So hopefully it won't be too long before we get a next update and it will fix a bunch of the outstanding issues still. And of course, the biggest bug that a lot of you guys are complaining about is that you've got your new PS5 and you've not been able to get the upgraded version if you own it on disc. Ubisoft support have put a tweet out a few hours ago saying that they're aware of it and it looks like 11 days after launch, there's still a problem for a lot of people. So rip, anyone that bought the physical copy edition on PS4 and has now upgraded to PS5, you're not gonna be able to play it maybe until you go ahead and they get an update or you see a fix for it. Fingers crossed that does happen though soon and hopefully it won't be too long.
So a couple of days ago I posted my thoughts about Immortals Phoenix Rising which I got access to a good few months ago with a two or three hour session. It was a great game, I am really enjoyed it and I'm hopefully going to be able to show you guys a lot more of it in the coming week or so. But how's it actually doing? Not too bad at all. 77 on Metascore right now. Obviously today is the big review day so most outlets will be getting their reviews out. Bearing in mind this is still out of only maybe 12 critic reviews so far though and nine of them are positive, two are mixed and one negative. So yes, it's definitely a mix between Breath of the Wild and some of the tropes you've seen in a lot of Assassin's Creed games. I definitely want to give this a go more. Really enjoyed my time with it and like I said, if you want to see more thoughts about what I think about the game, go and check it out. And obviously them reviews are all available. I'm sure you're going to see a lot more streams and content over the next few days. But I thought I'd like to plug it a little bit to expect to see some of that as well. And that is it guys. That is a little Ubi news update today. If you like this, you want to see more, make sure you let me know. And as I said, let me know your thoughts on Reddit and the store and whether or not it's worth your time grinding out for some of this stuff. Until next time, laters!